My name is Andy, and I am ignorant to even the simplest of money hacks. Hi, Andy. Andy. Y'all, I'm gonna make this one quick because this, this is pretty embarrassing. I recently found some savings hacks that uh, I'm way too old to like to not know. I'm gonna break these down for you. Let's go. First up is my phone plan. I had no idea there was like some wicked cheap phone plans out there. So you've probably heard of Mint Mobile. They charge 15 bucks a month. I was considering switching with them, but like I heard it was like a pain in the butt to port your number from your current provider over to Mint. So I was like, eh, I'll just keep, keep my Metro plan. You know, it's working good for me. It's like 30 bucks a month or something like that. But I did that for like seven years. And then I found Tello Mobile, which they have super customizable plans. I have a video going through my port walkthrough and it was a little bit of a hassle, but like just like a little bit, totally worth it though. Let's check out the plans. So this is the plan I picked. Two gig of data, 300 minutes of talk and unlimited texting, $8. Boom, $8 ends up being like 850 with the tax. Holy crap, I, I spent so much money that I didn't need to. It's, it's like embarrassing. It's totally embarrassing. Let's check out the plans. If you can't find something on this scale, like I feel bad for you, son. They got something for everyone. If you want to crank unlimited, unlimited, 25 bucks a month. I mean, come on, holy crap, that is cheap. If you wanted to crank down 15 gig, 10 gig, the average person uses like six gig of data a month. So, I mean, 10 gig would be plenty for darn near everyone. $19 a month, holy cow. If you're one of those talkers, I know some people who like to talk, but they can do $9 a month. Man, if you wanna sign up for Tello, I got a link below. We like both get some goodies or like $10 of Tello bucks or something like that. So if you wanna do that, <laughs> giddy up. All right, next up is my coffee. I'm not talking about going to Starbucks. I got a little more sense than that. I'm talking about making it at home. I've been using these K-Cups for, for years. 96 count breakfast blend. They're like $29, something like that. Ends up being like 30 cents a piece. Andy, that's still pretty darn cheap. Yes, you're right, Andy, it is pretty darn cheap, but there is a super cheaper way. How I didn't know about this, I, I don't know. Regular old coffee grounds in a tin, you know, in a tin, not in a fancy super millennial K cup. So I've been literally doing this like for like a week using the little coffee ground adapter that comes with my K cup machine and just like, you know, taking a spoon and putting it in there. Andy, like seriously, this costs like $4. How many of these do you think are in here? The answer is a crap load, okay? And it only costs $4. Bro, I know how to make coffee. You put coffee grounds, you put it in the machine, you hit, put the water in there. I mean, you hit the button. Like that's, that's how coffee has been made for like the past a hundred years. It's coffee, sir. I've seen people use the little adapter, like put coffee grounds in there. Like, why did this not occur to me? I must be some kind of special, tell you what. Hashtag pray for Andy. You made it this far, you dig the vibe. So go ahead and hit subscribe. All right, next up is the lentil. I've been eating a lot of lentils ever since I made this video on making a lentil crust pizza. Mm. Delicious just thinking about it. So a lentil, if you didn't know, like I didn't know, is a super cheap, it's like a bean-esque vegetable. Super high in protein, it fills you up. It's, oh, it's great. I cook them up in a rice cooker, put a little garlic, put a little salt in there. If you don't make the sound, it won't taste as good. Just stir it up. Oh my gosh. Delicious. I eat them like just like that. They're great. Bag like this is like a dollar twenty-five, dollar fifty. It's like four pounds, y'all. This is a very bad example because there's not a lot in there. Because I've been eating them. Like most lunches, just like a couple of spoonfuls of lentils and like, I am full, like till dinner. Like I've heard about like, you know, the rice and beans diet, you know, Dave Ramsey likes to spout, you gotta go on the rice and beans diet if you're gonna save that money, pay off that debt. Beans and rice, honey. I, I'm doing it just for fun. Like this is like really, really good. Just some garlic, some salt. Oh my gosh, it's so good, guys. Go get you some lentils. Last up is the pop I drink. Now you might call it soda, but you must not call everything Coke. What kind of Coke you want? I want orange Coke. 
I've been limiting like how much pop I drink because this does not happen by itself, okay? Uh, I generally will drink like a can or like a glass of pop for like for lunch and then no more for the rest of the day. I had been drinking zero um, and then, you know, only occasionally drinking stuff with sugar if I'm feeling a little cheeky. Nowadays, I do drink um, the stuff with, with the sugar in it. I cannot believe the stinking price of pop these days. I, I swear it has doubled like in the past five years. It It is out of control. I even saw some grocery stores are just like refusing to carry Coke products because they are just so stinking expensive. Let's take a look. Dr. Pepper Zero was my jam for years. And I begrudgingly bought it when it went up to $5 and $6. When it went up to seven, I was like, I can't, I can't. And everything past that, I've seen it like eight, $9 for a 12 pack. Now, what have I been buying? Just down the road, you know, down the aisle is Dr. Thunder in a two liter for $1. That's me, that's me. One dollar Andy. A two liter lasts me like a week, like no joke. I obviously know Pop's been sold in two liter bottles for like freaking forever, but I did like the cans because it was like portion control. I just grab a one at lunch, drink it, I'm done for the day, it was easy. But with these prices, I can't. I gotta self-regulate, be strong Andy. Even if I were to go for the regular, like the real Dr. Pepper, that's like $2. So it's like, it's double the price. I mean, ugh. Not when I got the Thunder right next door for a dollar. Further price breakdown is 5.1 cents per ounce to give you a little apples to apples. 1.5 for the Thunder. And then obviously this was 2.9 cents per ounce. That's not a big stretch of the imagination. Please hit me in the comments if you knew about these already. And if you didn't know about them, you don't have to tell anybody. Go crush.